Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second episode of the Red... Well, actually, someone pointed out in the last episode, and I didn't actually know this, RB Leipzig aren't actually called Red Bull Leipzig. That's not their name. I always thought it was. It's something like Ration Ball Sport Leipzig or something like that. I, I, I get the actual name up. Hold on. Um, it, 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 Ration Ball Sport Leipzig. That is what it actually stands for. They were obviously founded by Red Bull, but that's not what the RB stands for. I'm shocked. I, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. I always thought that the RB and RB Leipzig standard for Red Bull um, throughout the career. I'm still going to probably refer to them as Red Bull Leipzig, so get get used to that, even though that's not their name. It's just what I've always called them, and it's a habit I'm not going to grow out of, even being the manager of the team. Um, today's episode, you'll notice there is no webcam. I'm sorry about that. There's just not enough time to get a webcam and such sorted, so I'm very sorry that it's not one of them. Today's episode is just going to be really focusing on transfers. I'm going to try and make this a short episode. We're just going to make the signings and sort out the start and in the next episode. We're going to fire right into the league season. So, a lot of suggestions in the last video along with the players who I've already inquired about. Um, a few of the players obviously we're trying to get Nikolai Muller and I've bidded 9 million for him so it looks as though that's going to happen and here's some of the other players who I've inquired about but I'm going to try and take into account some of the suggestions that some of you left in the last video um, after I sign Lindelof and Nikolai Muller. They're going to be the first two players I sign and then with the extra money left over I'm going to turn to the comments section and I'm going to look at who you guys think I should sign. So basically um, the there's an elephant in the room to address, which I think the majority of comments were about, and that is about the Celtic striker, the man himself, Musa Dembele. We're probably going to have to go for him because of the high demand um, to go up front with Werner, but we'll see what happens. It all depends on money and obviously who else we bring in. The goalkeeper right now is the main, apart from Lindelof and Nikolai Muller, the main concern is definitely getting a goalkeeper. We're also going to set up training today. We'll do that towards the end of the video, but we have this pre-season tournament to start off in. Well, we're taking on Udinese in the first game. We're just going to sim through these very quickly. First match as Leipzig manager, first friendly. A 2-0 win. Naby Kieta and Poulsen getting the goals. Poulsen, who I said I'm going to try and replace. Um, but uh, an injury there for Compa, which isn't the most assuring or reassuring of things. Um, Maximilian Philip was someone who I went in for. They want £11 million for him. He's out for two weeks. That's not the greatest. Um, I, I'm just waiting to hear back about Lindelof, really. This episode is really just a Jeff... Sorry, not a Jeff. A, a Jim White transfer special. That's really what it is. So £16.5 million for Lindelof. Not bad at all. I'm going to put that down to 15 We probably could go even cheaper. But um, I don't want to, you know just ask about I want to get things done as quickly as possible because I want to get into signing more and more players before the actual season starts so that that means in the next episode we can fire right into it. Um, so second match of this pre-season tournament we're taking on now Premier League club Brighton and they're still in the championship but we're taking them on and oh we're beating 1-0 from Brighton not not the greatest thing to see um not not good at all, but it's only a pre-season tournament, so who cares really? Uh, still there, but Maximilian first. Still want I want to sign these two players first. I might wait to. Oh wait, we've got a lot of emails coming through. So there we go. Contract offer for Lindelof. This should be easy enough to get done. Uh, fifteen thousand pounds a week. That's not bad. That is actually very very good. Little wages for you know a very young uh, and a, a centre back with lots of potential. Nikolai Muller. He's wanting forty five grand a week. A bit. A bit much more than I was expecting. I was expecting him to be about 30. But 45 is not that bad. Hopefully we bring him in. Maximilian Philip apparently have accepted eight mil apparently has been accepted eight million from launching Gladback. Maximilian Philip is a player who I would actually like to bring in. Um who had a great season in real life for Freiburg. So if it's only eight million pounds, but I can't bid for him. Has he already left Freiburg? Like it's not like me approached by Red Bull Leaps. I don't I don't make a bid for him. I don't remember making a bid for him anyway. Um, I'm quite confused here. Um, I've shortlisted him, but I've not made an offer. And he's still at Freiburg. I don't know what's happening there, the whole business with that. We'll come back to it, I suppose. Um, transfer offer for Yusuf Poulsen. Here's a guy I'm talking about who I'm thinking about offloading. Should we sell him? Five and a half million pounds is quite... You know, I'll ask for eight million pounds. If we can bring in eight million pounds for Yusuf Poulsen, 
then um, really that's, that would be okay. That, would, that wouldn't be too bad. So here's all the other players we inquired about, by the way. There's some suggestions that I've took uh, in the comments that we're obviously going to come back to, as I said. This is just kind of really one big take. Uh, this video so you know if you, if this video isn't your cup of tea i'm sorry i'm um, i've got to kind of rush to get this one out today uh red bull leipzig versus Ghent. we're coming very close to the end of this tournament so i want to try and wrap up these signings as quickly as possible because i believe we have a german cup game to start us off uh we win 3-1 pilsen scoring in further two so pilsen scored more than werner at the minute forsberg getting the third goal and another injury which once again isn't great isn't great at all um Contract offer declined from Lindelof. Fucking hell, right? Do you know, we're just going to go and offer him 25 grand a week. Uh, that'll surely sway him to come. And we're just going to move straight on to the transfers. We know we're bringing in Lindelof. We know we should... Yep, we're bringing in Nikolai Müller. There we go. Nikolai Müller is signing from Hamburg. £9 million. Pounds. I'm very happy with that. He'll be a good staple on the team for this season to try and get us Champions League football. Obviously, he's 28. He's a bit older. Um, but Oliver Buck is going to be our focus to try and grow him to his full potential for further seasons. But for this season, I feel like it's very important we use a, a better winger. And Nikolai Müller will probably be the answer He's got very good stats. Look at that. Sprint speed 87. He's got good stats. He'll be solid. Eh? He's a good player. Player I enjoy watching, to be honest. So, we'll bring in Nikolai Muller at the right mid from Hamburg. I'm happy with that. So, now, where do we move on to? As I said, Moussa Dembele was the elephant in the room to bring in Moussa Dembele. See, I want to try and take it away from Celtic uh, to try and, like, keep it uh, as a new career mode as possible. But a lot of people have suggested Dembele, and I don't know if I can quite ignore that. Um... So Dembele is an option. We're going to go and quickly inquire about him, I suppose, to be our partner up front with Timo Werner. It's the goalkeeper, though, who's the, the, the main worry. I had a few suggestions for a goalkeeper. Uh, I'll quickly go and check those. I was thinking about Timo Werner. See, I don't even know if we can sign Dembele because he's just signed for Celtic. Uh, I had a few suggestions for a goalkeeper. Um... Donnarumma, uh, Zavala and Lafont. Donnarumma, do you know what we're going to try... Uh, I, I know that you can get pick him up in career mode quite easily. I've done career modes in the past where I've picked up Gianluigi Donnarumma quite easily. Hopefully, he's not as much of a money grabber uh, as he is in real life. I hope that's not the case. Uh, as a quickly check. Jonas Hector, I think I'm going to go for because I didn't get any suggestions for a left back apart from Kieran Tierney. And I don't think Kieran Tierney's quite going to cut it for what I want to do with Leipzig in the first couple of seasons. Um as much as I love Kieran Tierney, obviously in FIFA he's not the best in the world. Right, there we go. I'm not going to get Dembele, sadly. So all of you who wanted me to sign Dembele, I apologise. Can't do it. Um, so I'm going to... Don't know, I'm a 27.5 million. I'll try and put that down to 20. That was suggested from the comments. There's one we'll try and pick up that you guys suggested. That was actually left from the Anglo Gamer. So thank you very much. Um, I, and to be honest, if we pick him up, if we pick Jonas Hector up, Lindelof... Um, Muller, then it's just a striker I think we need and this team is ready to go I think it will be very good if we can bring in just another striker and I would have liked to have brought in Maximilian Philip to be honest uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video just now, I will not pause it it's obviously going to go to the, the, the next part of the video for you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try and get contracts and such tied up and update you of where we leave off, so um, aye, let's go and see if we can finalise these signings oh that was quite a waste of time there because I went forward a day, a day and I need to update you uh, Yusuf Pilsen looks as though he'll be leaving <clears throat> which is okay, uh, but uh, bad news here that Lindelof might actually join Sevilla. That's worrying. I hope he chooses us. We bidded first. We offered him a contract first. We've actually offered him increased wages, right? So we have Middlesbrough to play here in the semi-final of this international European Cup thing. Uh, and we are absolutely destroying him. Nikolai Müller having quite the debut and Werner finally gets himself a goal and Poulsen and potentially his last game scoring a goal for us as well. Are we doing the right thing by getting rid of Poulsen? We might not be and I've got to play Brighton again in a moment who have already beaten us. Um, one thing that worries me in this team is depth. That is going to be bad for the first season. Depth is going to be incredibly bad but there's not much we could do. Uh, and there we go, yes, Victor Lindelof has signed, we have made our second signing of the transfer window, so Lindelof in, that's good to see, I'll keep you updated on the side of the screen of who we've brought in, um, I'm going to put like, a little kind of graphic there to see who's came into the club, um, but John, uh, I say that now, but when I get on to editing I might forget all about it, um, but I am not I'm not too, not too, uh, too bothered if we don't have a great deal of depth, uh, we should be okay, but there we go, Lindelof in, the team is shaping up, now we just need our left back, our keeper and our new striker, but we've not got a lot of money left, 
We've got to be very shrewd. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip all the negotiations, and uh, after arriving to the club, I'll let you know, because this video is going on longer than anticipated, and I want to set up training. Um, so, I'll be back to you in a moment. I feel like I have to keep interrupting. We have this International Cup final. I'll quickly get this over and done with, so you can see if we win. Brighton are the only team to beat us, but this time, we, we fondled them. We, we fondled them. And we've won the pre-season tournament. What a lovely start to the career. So Dunarama has been a bit of a money grabber as expected. But Jonas Hector has signed. So there we go. That's one out of the two there. And after that we only really have one more to do. And that's bringing a striker. So Jonas Hector has signed. We'll make him obviously our starting left back. Because well he's quite a big player. He's a German international. That is a massive upgrade to the defence. And the defence is looking like it's getting stronger and stronger. With Lindelof coming in and Hector coming in. Now Donnarumma is just left to come in along with a striker, if we can even afford that at this point, and I've sold Poulsen. So, um, things are getting a bit worrying, hopefully if we sim the next couple of days, that is the arrival of Gianluigi Donnarumma. Um, it's ta he's taking his time, and he's accepted a contract, hell hell, there we go. Uh, we've not got a lot of money, but it's fine, I have a plan. Donnarumma's in, one more signing, and that is us ready to start the Bundesliga. So Ryan has worked a little bit of his magic here, and there we go. I told you I'd find a cheap striker, Sebastian Driusso, and that is us spent our money completely. We have done phenomenally well, I believe, in the transfer window, and we have made all our signings. Now, you might not know who Sebastian Driusso is. Uh, he's a River Platte player, or however you pronounce the name, but um, he had a very strong season in New Life last year. He uh, got himself a Team of the Season card, an Ultimate Team, mostly known because of Football Manager, and I decided, why not play the gamble? Why not take a risk and bring him in? In FM, I've got Werner and Diaz who par partnered up, and they're phenomenal, so I'm hoping for a bit more FIFA. And that's it. That concludes this episode of the Red Bull Leipzig Career Mode. It was just a transfer-based episode. I'm sorry if it bores you. Trust me. The season ahead will be worth this. Um, so Donnarumma, Klosterman will be at the right back. Orban and Lindelof, the centre backs. Jonas Hector at left back. Naby Kiet at the CDM with Nikolai Muller out right and Forsberg at the left. Sabitzer at Cam and Driesu and Werner will be our partnership up top. So that is the team. We have spent our money. We have spent a hell of a lot of money actually. Uh, to be honest with you, and in the next episode, we'll take a look at how that affects our finances, and just before we go quickly, I may as well set up the training for the season ahead, which is probably going to help, well, it will help, not probably, it's going to help us get the best out of the potential uh, within the players, so chance creation, we'll put that on Timo Werner, because I want him to become the best striker in the game, to be honest, one-on-one -on -one goalkeeper on Donnarumma, we've got to put a couple of things on Oliver Buck, because we really want him to reach his potential, and he's not going to get as much game time uh, as uh, Nikolai Muller's going to get this season, so Buck, this is the best way he's probably going to get his uh, stats up, so we'll put him on a couple of things, and finally, we may as well put Lindelof on some defending training uh, to make sure he gets the most out of that, so that's going to be our training for the majority of the season, things will probably change throughout, but I'm very happy with this team, I think it's looking good, let me know what you guys think, and in the next episode, we will head into the first few games, there's a look at the team again, uh, and to start our season, we have got Hoffenheim, so it's going to be a difficult, uh, and then we've got Dortmund and Hamburg, and we've got a tricky start, so... It's going to be a fun ride in the first episode of games and the third episode of the entire career. So guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.